Hello sports fans and football fans. I'm going to start off today and I'm not going to sugarcoat this, but I was six and eight last week. Six right, eight wrong. Uh, a lot of upsets. The Eagles lost to the Commanders. The Bills lost to the Vikings at home in Buffalo. Um, the uh, Packers managed to beat Dallas ton of upsets I've never seen anything like quite like it this past weekend in my life came in um, to the week and I didn't have a real good feeling about it and it turns out I was right not to have a good feeling about it so we're gonna have to move on from that from that six and eight record and uh, hope that I do better my first and so far only sub 500 week this year um, and that puts me on the year at uh, like 61.3%. So I'm still over 60% for the year um, and over 61% really. Uh, but it's uh, we got to gotta dig our way back out and get up to like 62, 63 where I was coming into the week. But a very terrible week for me. So let's hope that it's better in week 11. We're going to get on with the picks. Uh, starting with the uh, Thursday, November 17th game, and that is going to be the Titans at the Packers. And yes, remember, the Packers managed to beat Dallas this week um, in Green Bay. And you know what? I think maybe they've stumbled on to how they have to play. They have to run the ball a lot more. Um, and I think they realize that now. And the Titans are still kind of in disarray. I mean, they barely won the game that they that they played. I picked them last week, and they barely won against somebody they should have beaten easily. So I'm going to go with the Packers. Let's go with the Pack in this one to beat the Titans. Take the Pack over the Titans. And now that gets us into the Sunday, November 20th games. And the first on that list, this just happened to be the first on the list, is my Bears against the Falcons. Now, if you recall last week, I had said I had picked the Bears like two weeks in a row. And they lost, and they kicked me in the ass for it. And guess what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to risk another ass kicking. I'm going to take the Bears to beat the Falcons. The Falcons didn't look good, but at least with the Bears, the Bears only don't look good defensively. I mean, one of the weeks I picked them to beat the Dolphins and they lost 35-32 and they got, you know, screwed on some uh some ref calls. And then last week, I picked them to beat the Lions. I was sure they would do that, but they lost 31-30. This week, I think they'll win because I don't think the Falcons have an offense that can score anywhere near 30 points. Not unless everything is just clicking just right for them. So I'm going to go with the Bears again and risk losing that pick and getting it wrong again. But I just, just like the past two two or three weeks, I just feel like they're a better team than the team they're playing. Bad defensively, but still better than the team they're playing and should win. The next game we have is the Eagles and the, and the Colts. Now, Jeff Saturday, the new coach of the Colts, won his debut game um, and not very convincingly, but he did win. So he is doing, maybe he knows a little something that Frank Reich didn't know. I don't know, but I don't care what he knows. The Eagles are going to beat the Colts. So I'm going to go with the Eagles in this one to beat the Colts. The Colts are having a bad year, and they are, I think, they're a bad team, but they're playing inspired football now all of a sudden for Jeff Saturday. 
The next game we have is the Jets going into New England. And guess what I'm going to do in this one? Yeah, I'm taking the Jets. We're going to take the Jets to beat the Patriots. You heard it here. You heard it here first. I'm going to risk getting that one wrong just because I think the Jets have the potential to play better football than the Patriots. The Patriots are hot and cold. They're a Jekyll and Hyde team. One week they look really good. The next week they look terrible. But the Jets have looked pretty consistently decent every time they've played. So I'm going to go with the Jets there. Now we have the uh, Commanders going in and playing the Texans. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Commanders in this one. I mean, the Texans could beat the Commanders. I think that that's definite. Could happen. But Chase Young, their great defensive player, should be back for that game. And the Washington defense isn't too bad. At least you can say that about the Commanders. About the Texans, you really can't say that their offense or their defense or their quarterback or their coaching staff is all that good. The next one we have is the um, Rams at the Saints. And uh, in this one, even though the Saints let me down last week against the Steelers, I'm going to go back to them just like, just like with the Bears. I'm going to go back to the Saints. We're going back to the Saints because the Rams are horrible. And another team that let me down last week, the Browns going in and uh, playing Buffalo in Buffalo again, like Buffalo was last week against the Vikings. Now, I, I was really convinced that the Bills are the better team. They're better than the Vikings, even though the Vikings came in 7-1. and one. But uh, they still, the Bills lost. They lost in overtime, but I am still going to go back to them. We're going to go back to the Bills. Take the Bills to beat the Brownies next week. The Browns are not very good. Let's get them out of here. The next one you got is the Panthers at the Ravens. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of going to go with the uh, Ravens in this one. There is no way the Ravens lose to the Panthers. I, you know, the, I mean, the Panthers won last week against the Falcons, but that was the Falcons. Next one we got is the Lions and the Giants. And yeah, I'm going to go with the Giants here. The Giants have been playing good, inspired football this year. They're kind of like the Vikings. They look like a team that should lose. And they don't play dominant football. They don't dominate the teams that they're playing. But they just find a way to win. And the Lions generally find a way to lose. Although, unfortunately, they did not find a way to lose last week. The next team we have, and speaking of teams that find a way to lose, you got the Raiders playing the Broncos. And the Raiders are finding new and... Uh, improved ways to lose football games. And so this week, um, with this game being in Denver, I'm going to go with Denver. I am not taking the Raiders in this one. I don't know what's going on with the Raiders. I mean, it's it's weird. Josh, um, what is it, Josh McDaniels or Josh Daniels or whatever his name is, the coach of the Raiders. For some... I, it's beyond me how an offense, because he was the offensive coordinator for the Patriots, and that's why he keeps getting head coaching gig assignments. It's beyond me how you can have an offense that works great for one team, and then you go to other teams as their head coach, and you bring that offense with you, and then all of a sudden, it's a terrible offense. I don't understand that. And in fact, I mean, you could say, it's because of the personnel. But really, Mac Jones versus Derek Carr. Who would you rather have at quarterback? I'd rather have Derek Carr. So he really should be in better shape with Derek Carr than with Mac Jones than he was with Mac Jones. 
doesn't make any sense to me. The next one we have is the Cowboys and the Vikings. Now, here's something I want to say about this. I'm going to put in a little plug for my channel. This is going to be the Thanksgiving Day game on my Sportsman Z YouTube channel on Thanksgiving. Although it's going to be the 1972 Cowboys and the 1972 Vikings. Mark that down. You don't want to miss it. But this is the 2022 Vikings against the 2022 Dallas Cowboys. And in this game, I'm going to go against my better judgment. I'm going to pick the Vikings to beat the Cowboys. Because really, when I look at these two teams and I look at the matchups, the Cowboys to me are the better team. They match up better. But the Vikings just don't quit. They're like the Terminator. They just keep coming after you. And they don't give up. And I think that Dallas, they just find, you know, like last week, they found a way to lose to a team that they should have beaten. So I'm going to go with the Vikings. Long story short, take the Vikings. Now we've got a divisional matchup here, and this is the Bengals and the Steelers. And the Steelers look pretty good, but I am going to take the visiting Bengalis to beat the Steelers. So I'm taking the, the Bengals over the Steelers there. Now you got the Thursday night game, the 825 Thursday night game. And this is the Chiefs and the Chargers. Need I say more? We're going to go with the Chiefs. So take the Chiefs to beat the Chargers. That leaves us with the Monday night game, if you're keeping track at home. And that is going to be the 49ers at the Cardinals. And in this game, who knows who's playing for the Cardinals. Might be Murray at quarterback. It might be Colt McCoy. I don't know. But... I'm still going to go with the 49ers. Yeah, all of a sudden, I'm on the 49ers bandwagon. You got to love that. I know my cousin probably doesn't like it at all. but So uh, those are my picks. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm off base? Do you have a bad feeling about it like I did about last week's picks? Or do you think, hey, you got a lot of uh, good picks here, and you should do a lot better in week 11? I am really hoping that I do a lot better. I'm hoping I do like, um, you know, miss only two games like I did a couple weeks ago. Um, the buys for this week, by the way, are the Seahawks, the Jags, the Buccaneers, and the Dolphins, which is good because those are a lot of teams that give me trouble. I don't know how to read them, really. So, um yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up. Just the first thing you should do is give the video a thumbs up and then watch. Although, if you've come this far, you've already seen the video. I don't know. But anyway, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.